Welcome and this is part six of the tutorial for the evaluation for the unit for WJC uh, ICT. Okay, so this part is about the review of the feedback given and received. So if you haven't had any feedback, go and get some, go and give some to somebody and then you can talk about and explain the feedback you have given somebody. Add a few print screens from your emails as evidence if you want to, so you can bulk it up and you can talk about you know, the importance of giving your peers feedback. And also, by looking at other people's work, you're also giving yourself other ideas that you might not have come up with. So it's a benefit for them and it's a benefit for you. Now, why is feedback important? Well, if you've had feedback from somebody, then how did it help you improve your work? Does it make it look more professional? You know, have you added in or have they tested and found errors in your hyperlinks? Have they found that maybe your hotspots don't work or maybe you've got a few extra spaces than you should? So you can fill it and they might give you some ideas of what you could actually put in. Have you in your practice one or your first draft, have you talked about the advantages and the disadvantages of your website and your, your products? If not, you know, then make sure that it's in there. What did the WJC ask you to do? The person who gave you feedback, did they give you ideas of what you've missed that could help you get a higher grade? And did you listen to that feedback? Now, that's really important. Did you listen to that feedback? And if you didn't, why not? You know, what was it? Did, it, did you not have time? Did you not think that the colour scheme that they suggested would, um, would suit your house style and ethos? So just be, I'll give a really good explanation of what the feedback you've done, what feedback have you given and whether you listen to that feedback and if you haven't then why not.